Good, Good morning. 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 Morning, and welcome to the May edition of Chamber Chat. And as you can tell, I am not Suzanne, and this is not Shane. <laughs> oh, so. I am definitely not Shan. <laughs> but this is the Josh Isaac Takeover Show. Oh, I, I knew he was so. going to say that, so we're okay. Yeah, right. But see, you've announced it now, so everybody knows you're going to take over the show. Well, that's what you do when you start. You're supposed to have a coup. You're not supposed to tell everybody. Well, you know, okay. you're no fun. Go ahead. Oh, all right. <laughs> all right, Josh. All right. <laughs> anyway, we want to thank everyone who attended the 2019 Chamber Annual Banquet last night. It was great. The 56th anniversary, and we had a great event, mm -hmm. a great time, great music, great, uh, it was, everything was just wonderful. It was, everything. And the Chamber could not have the annual banquet without the gold and corporate sponsors. The gold sponsor was Ascension, Ascension St. Thomas DeKalb Hospital, and gold means that they sponsor every event, activity the Chamber's involved in with, throughout the whole year. So we are so thankful for our gold sponsor. That's amazing. It is. And then our corporate sponsors are Advanced Financial, Center Hill Realty, DTC Communications, Fast Paced Urgent Care, DeKalb Recovery Court, Drive, aka Federal Mogul Motor Parts, First Bank, Liberty State Bank, Middle Tennessee Natural Gas Project Hometown Help, Sober Living of Tennessee, Tenneco, Wilson Bank and Trust. So thank you to all the corporate sponsors. We couldn't have done it without we you. We could not. With the Chamber Banquet to the Chamber could not do without our, our partnerships with our businesses and our local people and our local organizations. Uh, we want to say special thanks because a lot of special people helped out uh, Jamie Campbell and the retreat at Center Hill Lake um, for the annual banquet giveaway, which is a free to not stay at the retreat at Center Hill Lake. So everybody's Somebody coming. was lucky. Oh, yeah. I was hoping I would win, <coughs> and I knew I wouldn't. Well, somebody <laughs> you know, was lucky. But maybe I can just lay on the line. Yeah, maybe you, know. you can. Look up at the sun. There you go. Hey, they've done so many renovations I there, know. and it's, it is so nice. It's a beautiful place, and somebody, some lucky person is going to have know. fun. Maybe they'll take pictures. Yeah, put it on Facebook <laughs> or something. Uh, special entertainment, but, well, we we had to cancel that last night. The beta club was supposed to I know, to because the soccer team they had is doing soccer. so well. So that is that great. They, that they went on to play off or whatever they call yeah. soccer whatever games. they whatever they um, do <laughs> but the first um, Michael banner was performed excellently yes it was and mr josh Isaac, thank you and then miss susan hinton played the uh, keyboard yes. for us and she mm -hmm. did always does an excellent job uh, a delicious meal prepared by the dchs culinary arts and linda paris they do such a wonderful job Absolutely. she is teaching those children those young i say children they're children to me but they're young adults and they do just a marvelous job the food is just great uh, the wonderful servers, the Leadership DeKalb Class of 2019, and the uh, DeKalb Middle School Junior Beta Club. They mm -hmm. did a great job. The food was there. They had. They were they right were there with the. That could they be. were, and they were so polite and, and so smiling. nice. Yeah, <coughs> just such wonderful kids, and we great, want to thank great. everyone who attended because we had a we had a full house last night. We had a good crowd, and right. so. Well, my favorite part of the Chamber Banquet had to be the awards. Yes. So um, Leadership DeKalb gave out some awards. Dwayne Page received the Leadership DeKalb Legacy Award. Yay, Dwayne. I mean, we should have had him on here. I what, know. what was we thinking? I don't know. But he does so much for our community. He does. I mean, Absolutely. I mean, you can blink and he's right there. Yeah. Every event. Um, Whether you ask him or not, he comes in and right. says, hey, it, can I interview you? Even when you don't want him, he's there. He's I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. No, but um, he does so much for our community. Um, he does. What I loved about when he won the award, everybody go, goes, oh, yeah. You know, like they yeah. were so excited. Well, why not? Yeah, that him, it's great. Um, and then Lisa Cripps received the Leadership Community Leader of the Year Award. Boy, she, I didn't realize how many things she has she, been in. She is and she's a, retired. I know, well, this is her second career. I know. So, I mean, she I does hope an I have excellent much energy. job at that, too. Yeah. Well, I know. And I get to work right beside her, and people do not see how much this lady does. She's amazing. Yes. She's um, out there doing everything. She she's is. She's multitasking. It's so amazing the things that she she does but um and then now we're going to do the we have 13 of these 13 now. so i'm going to try you okay. know i know shan and suzanne are probably listening because they want me to mess up this morning because they know oh, that i get tongue tied okay. <laughs> well, it's, it's okay but it's okay because it happens it's every, all good. it happens every month well there um, you go so um our 13 milestone awards um were presented at the banquet we're going to do the 20 years first the 20 years were off the beaten path studio tour yeah which is great that's it great is. Um, also, J. Bez Watercraft and DeKalb Funeral Chapel all had 20-year milestone awards. 
Um, 25 was Evans Mill. Who enjoys that, right? Everybody yes. Good loves food. Evans Mill. Good location. DeKalb County Volunteer Fair Board. Yeah. And they said they've got a new stuff coming this year oh, at the I fair. Know. They were announcing last night. I'm not going to say because I'd get it wrong. But they've got some new stuff coming. New so make sure that you're watching and, yeah. that. Um, also, um, the Center Hill Realty had 30 years this year. Janie and Associates CPAs had 30 years. Appalachian Center for Craft had 40 years. Also, Drive, a.k.a. Federal Mogul, Mogul Motor Parts. Parts. Right. Try to say that 10 and times then, real fast. Yeah, right. 50 years. 50 years. 50 years. And, and the thing is, I've, you, been, right? I've been around all of this time. That's the scary part. 50 years is Ascension St. Thomas DeKalb Hospital. 55 years was Cantrell's Clothing. Please. I mean, yeah, yeah, Fluties. <laughs> Everybody knows that's Fluties. Everybody knows right. Flutie. Yep. Um, Forty years was Dwayne Page at w and WJLE Radio, <clears throat> and uh, fifty-five at WJLE. That's mm -hmm. not at WJLE though, yeah. right? No, okay. at WJLE. Oh yeah, at WJLE. And then fifty-five years is WJLE Radio. Fifty-five years. Fifty-five here. years. That's awesome. The thing is, I'm old enough to remember all of them when they started. <clears throat> you know, let's tell your age. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, there you go. There you go. I've got the cat out of the bag now, right? I'm young. Can't You're put it back in. Child. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just a, a Merrill whippersnapper, right? Right. Uh, and our, we have so many wonderful special guests today, and the first one to kick it off, as we say, uh, is Summer <coughs> Brent. She's going to be talking about the summer kickoff block party. Tell us something, what's going on. Tonight. Well, uh, we have a party that's been sponsored by the Center Hill Business Association. It's going to be held on Main Street, down on the square, um, May the 25th from 4 to 9 p.m. It's a completely free event, mm -hmm. so there's no charge to get in. The vendors aren't being charged. We have probably about 13 or 14 vendors coming right now. Well, great. Um, anything from homemade soaps and candles. Um, we have a kids obstacle course, repurposed furniture, skincare, things of that nature, jewelry. We have five live bands and they're all local people here in Middle Tennessee that wow. are gonna perform at the event and uh, about four or five food trucks that are going to be there. And this so is all going to be on Main all, Street? All on Main Street, Wow, yeah. you're going to have fun. Yeah. And it's completely free, so we yeah. just want the community to come out, yeah. enjoy seeing all the new businesses that are yep. downtown. There's been a lot of new businesses okay. open. It's, and, it's beautiful downtown. Yeah. yeah. Just yeah. looking at the you know the chamber before and after pictures and mm -hmm. how much things have grown mm -hmm. and so many wonderful stores. It's, you know, I remember when Town, downtown was full every yeah. you know every day yeah. and I'm so glad to see that happening again yeah, all these beautiful stores coming in getting revitalized it is right. and I'm, finally I'm glad so, to see it me too me well too. Kathy you know I live downtown well yes I know and so don't come knock on my door though I won't but, um, <laughs> I, but I won't it is so amazing like you're saying like I mean just if you've not been downtown lately you've got to come by because there's so many great stores mm -hmm. now and so many things happening. And I'm just excited. I get to walk outside my door and walk right over to the block party. That's right. There you mm -hmm. go. Uh, we do want the community to know that it is a shine only event. So if the weather, you know, rains it out, unfortunately, it won't be rescheduled to another date. Okay. Um, just be held next year. And we want everybody to bring their own lawn chair. You will okay. need to sure. bring your own lawn chair to s sit and enjoy the music. Okay. So. Well, if someone had wanted more information about this or wanted to be a vendor, who would they call? Um, they can go, go to the Facebook page for Center Hill Business mm -hmm. Association, or they can stop in any of the shops downtown. Each of them have information about the block party. Oh, great. Great, great. It's and if they want a vendor application, they can pick those up at Thrive Boutique and turn oh. those back in. Okay, where is that located? Thrive Boutique is um, Highway 70, Sparta Highway. I guess it's across from the car wash. Okay. I guess yeah, that would sure. be the best way to sure. explain it. Um, over by Cleaners Express. Okay. So they can pick those up there. Oh, They'd wow. like to be a vendor. It sounds like so much fun. It's so many be things fun. going on, in, yeah. you know, this month. It's just, uh, it's going to be a fun time for everybody. If it people is. don't have anything to do. Right. And they say they don't. There is so many things. Then they don't listen to chamber chat or they don't see what's going on in the community because there's right. something for everyone. That's right. Thank you so much, Summer. Appreciate You're very it. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Well, Coco, speaking of fun, we have Susan Hinton with us uh, today. The multi talented and, oh. Susan Hinton. And she's got all kinds of good events also that we can come to this month. 
Well, <clears throat> I'll be speaking about two events, and both are sponsored by the Smithville Study Club. So I want to give a shout out to those ladies. And uh, our president right now is Miss Waltine Parker, and you are, guys know her very we well. Do. Right. We do. We do. And uh, talking about all the things going on, uh, you may need today just to sit down, slow down, and visit with your friends of DeKalb County. And I believe there's a bounce, y'all think y'all will be talking about that probably, but mm -hmm. there's a bounce activity going on on May 4th. Mm -hmm. But from 1 to 3, there is a annual storytelling. It's our 14th annual storytelling. years. And we named it after one of the co-starters, which was myself and Miss Dot Titsworth. And this year's theme is Sweet Tea and Spicy Tales. Oh. And Sounds if like you fun. haven't been... This is going to be Josh's first year to first, come in yeah. and slip in. I'm try. And I told him I want to hear some of the back scenes of some of those plays because yeah. I know from being in shows that there's bound to be some funny things that <laughs> go on in the behind the scenes, <laughs> like that just is now. Great. <laughs> what was that? It scared me. This is why, but this thing just sprayed. Like, <laughs> Ooh, it's just got, got my mouth. I smell really good now. <laughs> end up. But May the fourth at the county complex, it is free but we do take donations for the imagination library awesome. which is uh that's uh coco yes. i'll just say well it. this that's, is kathy yes. and my favorite thing because yes. we just love to see these children get books and that's why and they are free and they come in the child's name and that excites them to no end when they go to the mailbox and they have a book in well, their people name people think that just because it was started by dolly parton that the books are free the books are not free the county pays for <laughs> the county pays for part of them and then the state you and, know the foundation the pays for some of them so, so it, it's free to the child it's free to the child but again we have to come up with money so yes. that's a good way to donate money if you um want to give to a good cause someone's died and you want to uh, do it in their um, memory, memoram or, in memory mm -hmm. or you can do it in honor of someone. But just come out mm -hmm. and hear good stories. Uh, some tall one, tales. Josh will probably tell some tall to tales. three at the county complex. And also, this is my favorite event of the year, and it is the, the Cap County Art Exhibit, and it's from all the children of all the schools. And it, this includes homeschool and mm -hmm. preschool as long as they're five years old and above. And this event is from 1 to 3 on the 25th at the county complex. Yep. What would we do without the county complex? Right. Lots right. of activities. Uh, and this is free, but you get to vote on your child. You're going to vote your child as the favorite art, of course. And whoever <laughs> brings in the most parents, grandparents, whatever, will receive the People's Choice Award. And Dwayne Page always puts all of the award Wonder. winners on the radio station. He puts the, the picture of the winners. And he, um, WJ Elite is wonderful to cover that. And the Smith Review always put a picture of the winners on. So, so and the talent. parents, when you come through and see the art of their child, you cannot help but smile. I know, even first grade. And by so the much way, talent. I noticed that the summer block party kicks off at four o'clock. Well, you can just come on down to the art and then right. go on then down go to there. the block party. Just have make a day of it. Right. So what a better way. So right. two events, do not forget. May the 4th, May the 4th annual storytelling, yes. <laughs> and mm -hmm. I'm not sure which year. I think this is about 12 years for us for the art exhibit. But we, May 25th. And, and if they need more we information. Usually have, we have had as many as 250 pieces of art. Oh, yeah. and we have a lot of people coming through. Mm -hmm. Some really talented young yes. people. I mean, from from little kids to, I mean, to the And high every schoolers. single student gets a certificate. Yeah. And every, um, all the winners receive first place through fifth place ribbons and then we have little small trophies this year for each little section for so from each there's five sections of categories k through a certain i, I don't want to say them because i get mixed up k through two then three through th three and four and i'm getting them five and six and then seven let's see five six seven and then um nine through twelve is the last category there's five Categories. Okay. If they want more information, Susan, what oh, yes. can they Go call? The library has, uh, and they can call me at 615-597-9300, and you'll see posters out and about all over town. We have one at the library, and also we have some of the forms if you want to enter the contest, the art contest, they're there at the library. And let me, let me say this, well, and maybe some people will want to know. At Soon as the show's over, if your child did not receive a first place, and everybody gets certificates, every child leaves with something. 
they get to take that art with them. If not, it is taken by the art teacher and they store it until the parents pick, pick it, up. it up. Okay. So it's not thrown away. Yeah. And there was some art misplaced or yeah. people didn't get. And if it's homeschool, we take it down to the library. Miss Kathy is very good to let us keep it there for a certain length of time. And then I take it back to school and you just see me. All right. All right. Thanks, Thanks for coming out. Oh, thank Thanks you for so having much. me. Love it. Sounds like a lot of activities. Sounds like a lot of fun going on. When somebody says they don't know what to do in DeKalb, I'm going to keep my sheet and I'm going to say, well, here it is. (laughs) Yeah. You have plenty of things to do. That's right. Thank you. Thanks Thanks for coming. So what do we got next? All right. Our, one of our favorite people is there here. There we go. I uh, know. Uh, we should have got him in there doing that. Yeah, he did nice yeah. Work. I might have got a cheesecake. He, he might have gotten that. You, you probably have gotten that. Are, this is uh, Pastor Chad Ramsey from Smithville First Baptist Church. And tell us what's going on. We are excited. We just got back from a, a mission trip. We just got back oh. from Scott County yesterday and took a, it was a, one of ours. We call them our... Uh, retiree group uh, are mature believers mature. If you will. yeah and we headed up to uh scott county got back from mission trip yesterday had a great time up there in oneida tennessee um but we are uh gearing up um as we speak we have several people from not just our church but our entire uh, association the salem bab association uh, and also working with other churches um, every church if it wants to uh in our new hope center we're really excited about wow. this our hope center is going to be at 519 West Broad Street. So if you're going out Highway 70 towards uh, Murfreesboro or Nashville, uh, right uh, right past the uh, stoplight um, at Walmart, the okay. next building uh, is where the I think Value Furnishing is it there. It is, right but now. it used to be Terrell's Pharmacy. It right. is. Mm-hmm. So it used to be, yeah. So if you know where Terrell Pharmacy used is, to be, yes. you know where the Hope Center mm-hmm. is. Us older people know where yes, it was. Yes. yes. Also, I think it was also called. Um, it's different, what, been different. What was the cheese place? I don't know. It's been different. Shoes and cheese or something like that. I don't. Like know. That. I don't been what different. was that? Yes, shoes and cheese. Yeah. Walker shoes I'll and say. cheese, which that's an odd combination, but hey, um, they we'll had take cheese it. and shoes. <laughs> yeah. No, you don't I know guess. what you're smelling, the shoe or the cheese. So, <laughs> the best. That's, that's, that's Which one's aged the most? <laughs> yeah, right. That's right. That's right. But uh, we are located there, and our hours are 9 to noon on Mondays and Friday, and we start this Friday. So we're, we had a soft opening on Good Friday this year, and uh, like I said, this is a full community event or a community center. Right, uh, right now, um, we used to have, our church used to have, and still does, um, our clothes closet, mm-hmm. but now it's been incorporated into the Hope Center. So, so it's a combination uh, of yes. a lot of different uh, yes. community outreach. Yes, and, and if you had uh, ever gone to the clothes closet or needed help mm-hmm. from the clothes closet, that's where that is now located, but it's now operating under, under the Hope Center. Yeah. So it's right there. Uh, they will be there right now. We're just doing uh, clothes and furniture. Uh, so, or if you need help and assistance in furniture or um, household items, uh, we actually try to deliver those. But you got to fill out applications so that we can get you what you need. Yeah. Um, but we also looked at offering uh, counseling services, uh, job training services in the future, uh, a, a small food pantry. We want to continue to help the local food pantries already have, but also assist them in that and. And there's a lot of people in our county who could use that help as well, too. For so sure. so that's going on. That's going to be every Monday, Friday. So uh, as we go forward, we're looking at possibly changing our Monday hours. Uh, so keep on a lookout for that because we are we might be changing those to the Monday evenings. That We're sort of debating that back and forth right now. Just so if you if you say if you work and you can't get there during the day. Give them an opportunity to get in. Right. Yeah. So we're, and we might do that once a month. We might just go every time. But we're, we're, we're debating back, back, back and forth with that. Kind right of now. see what the need is. Yeah. And how right. many people come exactly. in and, and what they need. Exactly. Yeah. So we're excited about that. And I know just like us and probably every other church out there, we're getting ready for the summer and VBS. And I, I would be remiss if I didn't mention um Mother's Day is coming yes, up, so yes. uh, I know uh, there's, that's going to be coming up here in a couple of weeks, two weeks. Uh, so hope to see everybody out and and come with their mothers as they go to church on that day. So and you also said May the fourth, that which is Star Wars Day. Right. Yes. So well, there exciting. we go. So, uh, that's this Saturday too. So I can't. lots of events and, and lots who would going on. who would they call if they needed more information? And well, if they need more information about that, um, I'll be honest. You can call our church office at the um, at the church, uh, which we're six one five five nine seven four two seven five. You can contact us, email us, whatever. Go to our website. Uh, we have some information up there. 
uh, like I said, we are just getting this going, so uh, it, it is wide open there. But if they need any more, they can start there. We can move from there. Uh, other churches, too, that are also helping. I know Elizabeth Chapel Outreach. Uh, uh, I, I hate to. Wharton Springs, um, uh, several church, Indian Creek, all the churches in Smithfield have come together. Calvary. It's a partnership um, between the churches yes, to help the community. Yes, it's so actually a, all the churches in our so in the DeKalb. Uh, association, which is actually made up of multiple counties, I think there's about 35 churches mm -hmm. right now that are helping this this center out. So we're awesome. we're excited about it, and we and it's not just limited to to us Baptists. You know, we're all believers, and so right. we we are open to any other churches that wants to get plugged into it. We're just sort of um, we're just taking the you're, horns. You're kind of kicking it off. That's right. That's right. That's a good way of saying it. So, but we're excited about that, and, and God's doing stuff, and. Uh, you know, we're also excited about what we're about to do in our church, and, and, and hope you. If you don't have a church home, come come try us out. We'll love all to right. have you. Well, so. thank you, Pastor Chad. We yeah. appreciate you so much. Thank you so thank much. You. Thanks for coming. All right, you too. Y'all stay dry, because well, I know I'm, we may there. have to. I know we may have to cover that yeah. up. I don't know. I don't know what <laughs> it that is. That was kind of crazy. Yeah, um, it's, it's kind of scary. <laughs> yeah. So now we get to talk about one of the best events of the year. The Relay for Life of DeKalb County. Yes, we do. They do so much to get this going. They do. Um, they work so hard. Such a worthwhile, uh, you know, event, and it, uh, it, uh, it just, it's just wonderful that people come out and support it. Right. So it's going to be Friday, May tenth. Everybody needs to write that on their calendar, from, at, uh, from five to eleven p.m. at Greenbook Park. What would we do without Greenbook? I know. Park? There's it's kind of like the complex. You right. Know, it's kind of. So this is always a fun, friendly family event um, with, um, they're going to have auction, looks like um, Survivor Lab. Luminary. Luminary. What is Ceremony. That? That's where they light. <laughs> oh, they light the candles, yeah. yeah. Um, and lots of good food. And games. Yeah, games. I like games. I love a game. I yeah. love a good game, if I can win. Yeah, um, okay. You're a sore loser, I bet. Yeah, I really am. Yeah. For more information, call Avidale Randolph. I love her. Uh, yes. At 615-597-5296 or Marlene DeLong at 931-235-6286. Thank you. There you go. And the next big event is the DeKalb County Cleanup Day. And that is Saturday, May 11th. Uh, DeKalb Cleanup volunteers are asked to come to the community co county complex between 9 a.m. and 10 a.m. to sign up and pick up your provided trash bags uh, and rubber gloves, of course. Uh, we will be taking a group picture at 9.30 a.m. for the media if you would like to participate in that. And to help everyone get a head start on cleanup, there's be dumpsters are already set up at the Dowtown Community Center, Liberty Community Center, Alexander City Parking Lot, and that's behind the square, and the County Complex Parking Lot. For early sign-up, you can stop by the chamber located in the uh, courthouse, room 201, anytime during regular office hours between May 5th to pick up supplies, or if stopping by is not convenient, you can call the chamber office at 615-597-4163 to be counted as a DeKalb Cleanup Volunteer. Just give your name and the general area where you'll be working. Whether you're beautifying your street, a highway, a park, ball field, a stream, or your own home, it, it makes a big difference, let me tell you. When you when you go down the, the highway and you see all the litter and the trash that's on the road, right. and then after it's been picked up, mm -hmm. and I pick up enough cigarette butts around the library every day. So right. p if people would just think, when you throw your litter out, somebody else has to pick that up. Mm -hmm. And it shouldn't be somebody that doesn't throw it out. It's, you should be out and picking up your own right. litter, should you not. But they had this cleanup day so we can beautify our county, getting ready to, the jamboree will be coming up, and we want everything to look clean right. and neat. And As visitors come in like your home, you yeah, want your home to you look nice. Yeah, you want everything to look nice. We want, yeah. to be, we want to be proud of our community, right. which we are. So then the next thing is our Blood Assurance Blood Drive, which will be Monday, May 13th from 1 to 6 p.m., by the DeKalb County Complex Senior Center. That's what they're always set up there. They're always they so nice. They have it ready for you. Um, people, I love seeing people come by. To schedule an appointment, go to bloodassurance.org slash DeKalb or contact Jimmy Poss at 615-464-7426. All donations will receive a Never Stop Saving Lives t-shirt. Sounds good. Get so a give a little plug and a t-shirt. Right. And remember to eat a good meal, drink extra water, and bring your photo ID. Yep. 
so, worthwhile cause because yeah, there is always a need for for blood in definitely, our community. Definitely. All right. Uh, Appalachian Center for Crafts. Uh, spring workshops, summer workshops. The summer workshops are offered as a three-day weekend or six-day weeks throughout the summer in blacksmithing, clay, fibers, glass, metals, and wood for all levels from novice to professional. Nationally known artists lead these workshops in their professionally equipped studios. And for more information, you can call 615-597-6801 or 931-372-3501. And I'll just give you a little information. Uh, um, Deborah, she, uh, the director of the Appalachian Center for Crash, she had contacted me. And one of the artists that's coming to do in July uh, will be, um, she'll be donating her artwork that her students do to the library. That's awesome. So she is a blacksmith, and, and so she will be coming and probably after the event. Hopefully a lot of people will sign up for the blacksmithing because yes. you will be making uh, something for the library. That's awesome. So we'll have a sculpture outside, a metal sculpture. That'll so be awesome. won't that be cool? Yeah. All right. They're always doing great things Oh, they there. are. And they've got tons of events too. You can get on their website and look. and Workshops um, and events and yeah. things for the family. It's great. So now we have Edgar Evans State Park. Uh, Brad's here with us. How's it going? Going good, going good. you got a lot of things planned for us? We've got a lot going on. As you know, spring has sprung. It, you know, we've had abundance of wildflower and poison ivy. If you I, look at my oh, eye. No, no, no. You know, I've, I kind of got into some. Uh -oh. don't know, don't know where I picked it up. I'm highly It loves allergic, me too. But yes. And so poison ivy is out there. So if you're on our trails, you know, if it's got three leaves, leave it alone. Don't get anywhere near it. And also you can get it from your pets. If your pet gets in the poison ivy and you go to love on your on your on your fur baby, uh, they love you, to spread it around. It. You can get spread it the spread love. Easy. But yeah, we've got a lot of things going on. Um, this Saturday is going to be our, I think it's our third annual uh, 5K, 10K run and plunge at oh, the yeah. park. So we've got a, we've got a, it's it's awful hilly over there, but it's a, it's one of the most challenging races going to be in the Upper Cumberland. I mean, and we're still growing this event. But we've got our it's our we've got our run club. Um, Kelly Parkinson is our run club coach, and we've got we we grew this program from about five kids to about seventy five, and 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 so there'll be run clubs throughout the throughout the other state mm -hmm. parks, Cummins Falls, Cedars of Lebanon. All these run clubs will, will converge onto Edgar Evans, and plus, if you don't you don't have to be part of the run club. Anybody can run this race. I believe the cost is uh, for the five k is thirty five dollars. Uh, it might be a little bit more the morning of the registration, but uh, it is. It's, if you're in for, up for a challenging race and a, and a pretty place to run, just just come on out. Come and, to the uh, park. We, we love yeah. it. That begins at nine. Registration will probably start around uh, seven thirty, eight o'clock. So that's that's one big thing we got going on this weekend. Also, uh, our deal of the week is back oh. um, uh, for the cabins. Uh, yes. That starts up May the sixth, and it runs May the sixth through May twenty third. So that um, what that does that entire uh, two or more, two or more nights reservation it gets you twenty five percent off of, of that of your stay so a big kind of a big kickoff kind to, of an to incentive the to get right. out get out and get come to the stay park with us uh, our pool will be opening up for the cabin guests and the cabins do have a pool but the pool will be open probably mid May uh, okay. for those guests that, that when it warms up just warm, a little right, bit more yeah right when it, and. Our campground is back open. You know the floods that we, the the rising lake water that we had in February, yeah. we had some flood damage. We had to close about 25 sites. We got those back up and going That's and, awesome. and ready, geared up, ready to go. Our trails are still a little bit messy, and with that, we've got some. Check out our Facebook page. I know we've got some volunteer work days coming up. Ranger Vaughn is <coughs> is working with that, but I also want to send out a, a thank you, a big shout out to Smithville Elementary. Yesterday we had. 180 kindergarten wow. class class uh, uh, kindergartners come out to the park, and uh, we had some help from TWRA, the Corps of Engineers, Cummins Falls State Park come over and helped us. And the the kids after we had some programming and did some things, they commerced and did a volunteer work day themselves. So I oh, really appreciate awesome. the efforts and work that they that they put forth, and the kids had a ball. Right. They, and, and so we're. A, you know, it's getting school group field field trip time, so come out and see us. We've got a you know beautiful place for to, to host that. Um, the the week before Memorial Day, I believe that's uh, okay. without looking. You got your calendar handy? Without looking at mine, I, I don't. 
the week before Memorial. I think it's May the 23rd. Does that sound right? The 24th. 24th. Mm -hmm. That week of May the 24th is our Western Wallflower Tours. Mm -hmm. So it's a pontoon boat ride, and you can check this out on our website and register from that through special events. But we're running a pontoon boat ride all week long okay. to go to go look for this elusive uh, western wallflower. It only grows on certain spots on Center Hill Lake on the bluffs. So it's like a treasure hunt. It's like a treasure hunt. Yeah. So we, uh, we you can pack a lunch. It's about a three hour ride, and uh, <laughs> Ranger Mark Taylor will be leading that. And like I said, you can you can register online, check it out on our Facebook page or our Tennessee State Park page, uh, Edgar Evans State Park on on a. Uh, TennesseeStateParks.com and, and find us there and register for the event through that or you can call and we can help you get on the get That'd be on. awesome. So many cool things going on and, and, and we need to get our kids outside and you right. know get away from their devices and their, exactly. and get outside and enjoy the fresh and, air. And, and, and as you know we've got the storybook trail there at the park. June the 1st. June the 1st I will be there. June the 1st we're redoing the book. We, we're uh, we, we've got a, uh, we're changing the name of the book, and so we're going to have a new ribbon mm -hmm. cutting. And it's about a possum, but I cannot, possum. I cannot, I cannot remember, remember the name the, of the book. I, 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 I can't remember the name. It's a very cute book. And it so is. This, we'll just all be surprised. Yeah. On June the 1st, mm -hmm. we'll come out, and we'll have this uh, unveiling, and we'll have a good event. Well, there'll be a few vendors and some things there, a lot, of, a lot of stuff for the family to do. The library will be there, and then there's food. You yeah. always have good food, yeah. and, and just a lot of activities for the kids. I think the radio station... Mm -hmm. it comes uh, out the uh, radio station out of cool 106.9 yeah. was out there and they had you know all kinds of things for the for the kids to do it's and a lot have of other 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 parks coming and helping us so and maybe even appearance from ramble the, the raccoon our, oh, uh, hey, our there you uh, go. mascot so that'd be awesome great things going on at the park that is, thank you come, so much y'all come out and see us thank yeah, you thank and we'll see you in june go. at the library for right, our, for right. summer reading good deal. <laughs> thank you thank y'all all right. So what's going on at the library? What's going on at the library? Okay. There, you may make some things up? No. Uh, oh, okay. Let's not. Let's not make right. anything up. Let's see what really is going on. What's really the yeah. story? Okay. <laughs> well, our big event that's coming up next week is our Older Americans Day, and that is on May the 8th. This is our 41st annual Older Americans Day event. It's just a day that we uh, honor our older Americans in the uh, county for their vast contributions and, you know, to their families, their communities. People are, uh, are older Americans, and I'm not saying they're not old. People think, mm -hmm. uh, I'm saying they're older. What's the alternative? Right. We want to get older. Right. I'm not saying they're not old by any means. You know, when you were old in the olden days, uh -huh. you, were, you didn't do anything. There was nothing to do. But now these people, they're getting out. They're going, I met a guy yesterday. He's 77. He got a college degree. That's you awesome. You know, they're going back to school. Uh, they're getting out. They're going to the senior centers. They're, you know, they're, they're substitute teaching. They're doing, they're doing so many things in the community they, through their churches and volunteering. So they're getting out there, and, they're, and some of them are even retired and having a second career, like mm -hmm. Lisa Cripps. Right. Uh, and, you know, not that she's old. Uh, old. Uh. But, but. Uh, there is a lot of people that are retiring from their jobs, and they're they're having a whole new career. So this is a, just a day that we honor these people. Uh, we're partnering with the Alexander and Smithville Senior Center we have for the last few years, Miss Pam Redmond and uh, Sandy Brown. Uh, the event will be at the Cab County Complex. Yes, of course. Uh, uh, at the it's seven twelve South Congress Boulevard in Smithville, and it will be Wednesday, May the eighth. At 10.30, our vendors start. I have about 20 vendors. I have anywhere from uh, craft people to UCHRA to Social Security, the Sheriff's Departments, the Fire Department. I have some healthcare uh, people coming. Uh, so a lot of different information and fun of activities. Uh, I could not do this without our local businesses and organizations that donated. I have probably 40 to 50 door prizes, wonderful door prizes. That's awesome. Uh, and they, they also donate toward the goodie bags that's given out. They will get a sack lunch. And they will also be entertained by a group. Um, this gentleman has been coming for a long time to our library and is a kid's uh, entertainer for years and years. But he has a group called Williamson Branch, and a lot of people may have heard of them. They are a bluegrass group, and it's, it's Kevin Williamson and his daughters and his wife, and they are phenomenal. So they are going to be entertaining us, and I think they're, they're going to have a lot of fun with them. Uh, the theme this year is Connect, Create, and Contribute. Uh, so, like I said, we're going to have a lot of door prizes, sack lunches. Uh, my library board uh, furnishes the sandwiches, and then uh, we have, uh, they always get chips and a little Debbie cake, and they're getting bottled water, and uh, they also get uh, uh, a sandwich. So, just a great day. A great day for everyone. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of fun. 
And so I want to thank uh, my board and also my staff. They do a really great job in keeping me in line. I'm crazy, I know. And if for more information, you can visit us on Facebook or our website. And our phone number is 597-4359. And then another big event that's after that, May the 30th, starts our summer reading program. The thing, that's your big That's thing. the big thing. It's five weeks, uh, Universal Stories. Uh, the children get to pick out their, they just, you know, they pick out how many books they want to read during the summer. And if they meet their goal, of course, they get a certificate. Uh, local businesses, uh, you know, Pizza Hut and McDonald's and Sonic and different businesses, they give us ice cream coupons and yeah. pizza, free uh, personal pan pizzas for the kids. They need to read. So they need to read, <laughs> read, read. Even if it's, if we can get them to read one book during the summer, right. you know, a thick book, uh, you know, that just keeps their minds active uh, during the summer. And I th it helps them when they go back to school. Mm -hmm. People don't realize if they keep their minds active and they're reading, it, it, it's, a, it's a leg up for them when they go back to school. So our summer reading starts the 30th. It runs through June the 27th. Uh, the children will get a certificate at the end. Uh, it's going to be at the county. Uh, our final party will be at the county complex. Everything else will be at the library uh, starting May the 30th at 2 o'clock with Mr. Bond, the science guy. Our thing this year is a universal story, so we're going to have a big time there. Uh, this is the 50th anniversary, you know, of the moon landing. Oh. So a lot of things going on. Edgar Evans Park will be there. The Rangers with their animal friends on the 6th. And Barry Mitchell's Aliens, Astronauts, and Turtle in Space for the 20th. And then our, uh, then we'll, uh, Lisa Cripps and uh, the uh, library, uh, school board and um, the UT's Extension, which June is, uh, is Dairy Month. Yes. They will be there. And also uh, the final party will be Scott Humpston at the county complex at 2 o'clock. So. Just uh, for more information, just call us at the library. Our website, Alexander Library, will be having their activities and story time uh, June the 5th, 12th, and 19th at 2 o'clock. So lots of things going on. Lots of fun. Lots of fun this summer for the kids. Also, we have the retreat of Center Hill Lake with us, Jamie. He's been like a regular. Welcome. Yeah, welcome. A regular, okay. There you go. Yeah. So what's going on at the at the... Well, summertime's here. I mean, it you know, is. It is here. Eighty-four degrees is summertime. Summertime is here, yeah, especially when you so. have two air conditioners like myself or out. I have no air oh, conditioning yes. at the home. That, yeah, it's turning on the box yeah. fans and making opening the windows. Yeah. yeah. So uh, you know, families are coming out to the retreat. We have groups. Uh, the UT Extension group was there yesterday, and and uh, we have a lot of individuals who are booking for summer and family reunions and uh, just a lot of events coming up. Uh, we still have a lot of room uh, left for this summer, so, you know, time to get away to the lake uh, for local folks. And then if you have people coming in from out of town, uh, you know, and, and your house is full and um, maybe maybe they're, they're out staying their, their visit. You want to you know, send them some You want to send them some Out of the house. Yeah, out All of right. the house. Maybe the retreat would be a great <laughs> place for that. Um, coming up in June, uh, on uh, the weekend of June the 7th, we're doing the uh, Paddle Fest. Oh, cool. And that is uh, an exciting event. We're partnering with Canoe the Caney or JB's uh, Watercraft, yeah. the folks who got the 20 year last night. Partnerships are good. Yeah. And so uh, they're coming out, and uh, we've got uh, a lot of sponsors online with that. As far as uh, uh, I think Yeti is going to, they're going to be uh, giving away some things, and there's going to be kayak. Uh, um, demonstrations and and everything there so it was some great stuff happening that weekend it's gonna be very exciting the weekend of June the 7th June the 7th yes and uh, then of course uh, the first of, of June or, or Memorial Day weekend kick, kick the official kickoff for summer yes. right uh, we have the uh, Hickory Cafe opening back up, okay. and that yeah. is going to be our all-you-can-eat barbecue buffet. That sounds and good. Who doesn't good like stuff. barbecue? It's good stuff. So uh, Hickory smoked uh, pulled pork, and then we mesquite smoked the chicken and sausage and all the sides. Miss Gina, our, our uh, food service director, is is working uh, with that. And in fact, um, uh, the the lady from the DeKalb County. Um, um, School is <laughs> some of their students. Linda Parrish. Linda yes, Paris. Some, of, some, of, some of her students are going to be coming out, and um, we may be doing some interning with some of those that's students great. this, this that's summer. Awesome. So that's great. Um, they uh, they did a great job last night, and they always and do. So I'm looking forward to uh, seeing uh, seeing what they have this summer, and and um, spending Teaching some them time a skill. with them. You know, it's, it's absolutely. You know, I think that's that's important. Uh, this weekend, starting this weekend, Lake Shore. Country breakfast. Oh wow! Saturday mornings and Sunday mornings at the Hickory Cafe. Everybody Down likes the their breakfast. These and this is a, a smoked sausage, eggs. I mean waffles. 
the whole breakfast biscuits and gravy all the fixings all the stuff yeah yeah we and, and for those folks who eat cereal we'll even have cereal okay. so well there you go you know, the, the neat part is you come down and you sit by the lake and and you enjoy that lake shore breakfast kind of makes breakfast. it more enjoyable when you oh, can sit out absolutely. look at a beautiful view and eat your breakfast and yeah. if you drink coffee which you don't drink a little cup of coffee or and we're open to the community that's one of the things that uh, i want folks to understand you know we well, uh, the the uh, property's been there for since time. the 1940s, yeah. and it's gone through different management changes over the years, and and I can and remember everything. those. So yeah. that shows how old and, I am. There and you go. so you know, we've we've just celebrated our third anniversary of being there. Wow! And uh, we want the folks of the Cab County and the area to know that we're open to the community, and that's what that's why we do these breakfasts. That's why we do the buffets and. And, and everything is we want the community to come and enjoy the retreat at Center Hill Lake. Um, it's a great place. Um, we're doing Paddle Fest and, and, and that, you know, we want the community to get involved. We want them to come down and enjoy the facility, enjoy the lake. It's a beautiful lake. Oh, it is. This, it is. Uh, and, and the I lake levels have gone, we, we've, hit, we've hit record highs this year and we may hit record lows well, this hey. year. So We're um, in DeKalb County. Yeah, there you that, go. that lake is up and down. They're doing some work on uh, one of the put-in ramps, but uh, uh, down lake and um, it's, it's beautiful. The, the water has cleared up and, and uh, had a guy there the other day and um, he was just jerking fish out of the lake left and right. So wow. fishing is good. Mm -hmm. so, that's good. Yeah, I have good. I have seen those where you lived at the lake for years, and I've seen people go down the lake with snowsuits on and it's snowing. So that's how dedicated they are at fishing and hunting. So, yeah, and not me. I'm inside. I, 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 they were doing a bass no. tournament this no. past Saturday, and there's a guy and and he had a, a beautiful bass on the on the hook, and I tried to get it on video, and but the sun was behind him, yeah. so the video didn't work no. out that great, but. It was it was awesome to sit there and see that guy bring that bass into the boat. A lot of wonderful activities on our lake, and, and Jamie, you, uh, we just appreciate you so much in our community and, mm -hmm. and giving back to the community. I know you uh, given to the chamber last night with the uh, stays at the uh, at the end down there, and also to the to the older Americans Day. So we really appreciate you being partners with us in the community and so many activities and you know so many community events that people can get out and have fun and enjoy our lake because I don't think a lot of people that live here enjoy it as much as they need to. They need to get out and enjoy the festivities and the activities so we really really appreciate you Jamie. Yeah I appreciate that and and you know they don't have to have a boat if they just come out and walk around it's so peaceful oh, yeah. and relaxing and just, just unplugging from a screen. By the way this is screen free week. Um, All right. You know, so yeah, get out and enjoy. Take advantage of it. That's right. Get away from those computers. That's right. right. Thank you, Jamie, <clears throat> you so bet. much. All right, Caney Fork Electric Cooperative Membership Appreciation Day, Tuesday, May the 21st from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m., located at 580 East Broad Street in Smithville. Guest appearance by Louis the Lightning Bug. Oh, hey there. Louis. There you go, Louis Louis. <laughs> <laughs> Food, activities, and prizes. So everybody come out and, and enjoy that day. And Josh, tell us what's going on with the complex. Like, you don't have a million things going on. There's a million things, but we're just going to mention a couple of those things today. All um, right. Starting with this Saturday, may the 4th be with may you. May the 4th be with you. Right. Um, starting at 10 to 2. Um, and if you're listening, especially if you have grandchildren, if you have children, um, this is a great event. It's free. My favorite word ever. Free, free, free. Um, and it's called the spring thing. And so basically, you just come out, rain or shine. If it rains, we'll be inside. Boo! But we want to be outside. So um, we're hoping it's going to be a good day for. Oh, they can it. bring their umbrellas. Yeah, they can bring. Yeah, but we can't jump with it raining. What? That's kind of. Yeah. Wow. Anyway, but we're gonna have five um, bounce houses. Um, we're gonna have. Um, um, crafts and food and games and prizes and, and yard sale. Yard sale. There's a yard, yeah, because the coalition is doing the yard coalition. sale. We're going to have, um, I know that the health department's going to be there giving away stuff and um, just a big day of free events. Now, we did this in the fall and there were like 500 people yeah, showed up. So, um, so we're really hoping for a huge turnout again. Helen and I will be doing uh, rock painting. Yeah, rock kids. painting. And I think uh, Lisa, Lisa and them at the DeKalb Provincial College, they will be, their yard sale starts at 7 a.m. Yeah, 7 a.m. 7 o'clock. Mm -hmm. So 7 a.m. starts the yard sales, and then, of course, we start 10 to 2. We'll have everything set up for you guys. Um, I just, when I took this job, I wanted to have some great community events. And you have. And, um, and you know, things where the kids could do. Um, and so this is a great event to bring your kids out to, let them just have some fun and enjoy it without it taking away from your wallet. Yes. Right? Fun, 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 and free. Right. And so also, 
um, on Tuesdays and Thursdays. If you haven't heard Coco. No. Okay, tell me. We have Zumba now. Zumba. You're going to have to come out and do some well, Zumba. I, I did Zumba several years ago. I never, I didn't know what it was. I mm -hmm. was a little surprised, and, and I was not very coordinated. Well, I'm going to tell you, these so. two ladies are amazing, um, our new two instructors. Can they coordinate me? Yes, they probably could. They, they seem like they can do anything. Yeah, okay. But they got that music pumping. It's Tuesdays and Thursdays. It's $5, and they're starting this Monday a a Zumba Strong class, oh. um, and that's a 30-minute class, so um, you can come out Monday, and all these classes start at 7 p.m. 7 p.m. Um, and then the other thing is um, our second annual Creative Arts Camp. Yes. Um, we started this last year, um, and I didn't know how it was going to go. It was um, phenomenal. And we sold out. Yes. And this year, I'm sure it's going to sell out again. Last year, our theme was Lion King, and this year, our theme is... Frozen. Yay. So, um, so we'll be doing some stuff from Frozen. Um, this this event is a whole week long, Monday through Friday. I will we will have your children from 9 a.m. till 3 p.m. So if you need, you know, just that alone time, get away from the kids, bring them on out. Um, it's eighty five dollars for the week. Um, this year we have all the food provided. Wow. Um, which is amazing. Um, also, we have, um, so this year we've changed it up just a little bit. Just a little. Okay. Um, so we are going to still have, like if your kids loves to draw and art, we still have Miss Helen for a, art. And I'll be helping her with that. Um, we still have our music class with Kanette Dixon from Matt Well, She's the um, chorus teacher there. She's amazing. Um, and then I'm doing the theater part with the plays, but we've added a few things. One, we've added, we're going to have a, a class to teach kids how to make healthy snacks. That's good. And then we're also adding an exercise class with Lynn McCoy. Wow, there you go. So, so we're they get a little bit of everything. Right, right. So your kids can enjoy all this all day long. Um, and then on Friday, you'll come that night and get to see everything that they've done throughout the week, from art to singing, acting. Um, it's just always a great um, week. And so we're excited this year to bring it back. But just know that... <laughs> This thing just sprayed Ooh, again. Yeah. <laughs> and it gets in your Okay. Uh, um, but just know that it will fill up. And so we can only accept 50. So, okay. you know, and 50 is a lot. <laughs> yeah, 50 is. Yes, it is um, in our class have, especially. <laughs> yeah, and we also have workers and stuff. So we keep make sure they're safe and they stay in their areas. And it's just a great week. So that's all I have for today. Lots of fun. Lots of fun, John. Looks like we also have here Middle Tennessee Natural, oh, yeah, Natural Gas Project Hometown Help. They want to say to you, please contribute to this worthwhile, she might put some words in there, program by agreeing to round up your gas bill. Now, with me messing up, I'm gonna say this. Um, if you come to my shows, if you come place, 99% of the time, their their Project Hometown help helps us because we have to get costumes and everything. Everybody's everything, volunteer, yeah. you know, and so painting the scenery and yeah, and so and then also with um, with my Junior Beta Club, like they give to that. So when you round up your bill, you're not gonna notice that. No, you, you know, say it's safe. Yeah, just let them know that you're you're good about rounding that up. Pocket change. It will only cost a few cents monthly to help so many organizations. And I'm gonna say. This before we get into yeah. the, the final thing, uh -huh. uh, I just want to say that I don't think people realize what a great job, and I'm sure most of everybody does. Mm -hmm. Suzanne Williams does. Right. She is. I don't think you could find any better chamber director. She is out there promoting our county everywhere. Uh, she's involved with the jamboree. She's promoting businesses. She's doing ribbon cuttings. Anything that she can do to promote our community and get tourists in here, she is doing it, and she works very hard at what mm -hmm. she does. So I want to say a good shout out to Suzanne right. and her family because because they really support her, uh, you right. know. And so I want to thank her, uh, you know, especially. Mm -hmm. and, and she was brave enough to let us uh, co-host right. today. So she is very a, a brave person. Right. Yeah. And and I worked with her for two years, and you do not realize how much goes into I that know. until you get in there. But um, but again, Suzanne and her whole family yes. is like such an asset to the Cove yeah, County. Yeah, they are. They are. Well, I guess we'll finish. We will finish ready? up. I'm ready. The Chamber wants to help promote your news and special events. Call 615-597-4163 or email Suzanne at swilliams at dekalbcountychamber.org. The longest email ever. It is. And she'll help you spread the word. Believe me, she will. Yeah. Thank you to all of our guests this morning. And we are grateful to WJLE Radio and DTC TV for, for sponsoring our Chamber Chat program. You can watch Chamber Chat on DTC3 as well as their website. Just go to DTC3.tv .tv and click on Chamber Shows to view the programs each month. 
And we appreciate all of our listening and viewing audiences for the Josh Takeover show yes. today. And hope that you will join us again next month. Same chat time. Same chat channel. Have a wonderful May, everyone, and thank you. Bye. Bye.